cores need to be able to do? Like, how fast do they need to be? In terms of going online to fight. How greedy can they be? I don't think Fnatic wants to pick another greedy with Invoker. I personally don't think that would be a great idea. And they need to be able to hit buildings as well. Because they have Beastmaster. So they need something that uses the Beastmaster aura, in my opinion, on the side of Fnatic. While on the side of Minaski, I think they have a pretty like, kind of open option. They kind of want something that transitions, though. Five so maybe they remaining. could look at something like the Venomancer again. Was Tiny still in the pool? Or did he get banned? No, he got banned. I got banned in the first okay. three. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. Mineski is going to ban out first. The Gyrocopter obviously is still in the pool, which probably will be... A, it's, it's a decent ban for Mineski at the, po at the moment. Yeah. But Mineski also has first pick, so they... They uh, might want it. They might want it themselves. Unless they do something crazy and throw like a bad and safe lane and pick some kind of like Timber Saw, because Timber is really good this game versus Clockwork on Dying and Beastmaster. It's probably some... Oh, they ban out Lifesteal. <laughs> that, that, that might mean they want that Gyro. Or they're okay with dealing with the gyro. The shields can get rid of the missiles. But mm -hmm. flak cannon is still going to be really annoying. But was it Mineski the other day that did uh, safe lane remaining. Centaur? It was, wasn't it? Mineski yes, yeah. yes, it was. You feel like that's a good one for this game? Ooh, oh, safe lane slardar. It's not a similar. It's not a You got the you got the blink stunner, the blink, you know, the playmaker that uh, Mineski do lots of yeah. like this. So. They, that's. I mean, this is just their play style. It's, t it's yeah. different than the other regions that we've been seeing. And I think this is what third or the third or fourth game I want to say that Mushi's played it. I know somebody. I didn't get to watch all the SEA games recently, but I know people were telling me that Mushi had played yeah. it a couple of times <clears throat> in the recent games. Five yeah, they, they have. Uh, they have done that before with success as well. Yeah, and they won those games. I think both games they won, right? Or at least one of them. At least, at least uh, one of them. Okay. Well, I want to say, I want to say two out of three games they played like that. So I'm just looking at some heroes if, that were picked. If anything else got changed, the, what, what was the final ban of Fnatic? The Fnatic banned out the Vengeful the Spirit. Bench, yes. Oh. And uh, Fnatic themselves. I mean, we we already mentioned the Gyrocopter is still in the pool that Envy likes to play. I think that might be why Mineski picked Slardar to deal with that uh, Gyro because you can just close the gap. Yeah. And then this gives them Roshan potential too for Mineski. So does that mean that they might not want to play Gyro anymore? They'll go for something else? I think they might just pick it up. Well, yeah, uh, I think Gyro. Quick base. Yeah. Flash Farmer. Envy style. Well, they're taking into their bonus time quite heavily. Only got five seconds. Yeah. And it's a Razor. razor. Okay. Oh, that's a, that's a really nice lane for Razor versus Abaddon. Yeah. yeah, that's a nice counter, that. Oh, nice. Quick pace, similar kind of concept as the gyro. You can't flash farm as hard, but you are very early with your item timings. The okay. shield does get rid of the static link, yeah? No. No. No, no, no. Oh, rip. Wait, so who's going to be helping Razor in that safe lane? I would imagine that that will be... Clockwork. Clockwork, or they're going to leave... They're, they're probably, because both the Beastmaster and Roker and Razor, all three of those cores are very self-sufficient. And we already know that there's going to be one needed in mid to deal with that Ogre Magi. And maybe Beastmaster gets the Undying. Maybe Razor's just going to be very lonesome. Yeah, I, mean, I think I they might could. just run around yeah. with the two heroes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think there's just I think there's really little catch on Fnatic. I'm I'm liking Mineski's lineup, even though I don't yeah. really like oh. safe playing Slaughter. I like what they've got going here. What do you think, Owen? Five seconds remaining. I don't, I don't know. I think Albed's on something today. I think he's, he's <laughs> going to absolutely knock out of the park on this Invoker. I think I've seen so many times where just sort of. Post 30 minutes, and Invoker just blows up a Queen of Pain like she's just, you know, just swats her out of the way. Uh -huh. I, I believe in our bed here. I think, I think Invoker's good. I'm surprised we don't see as much as it is. And in the hands of someone who knows what he's doing, I think he can single handedly win a game. He did it on Quap, and he's, I think he's going to do it again on the Invoker this game. Punked? You got, you're sticking with, uh, with Mineski? Yep. You're good. I'm going for Mineski this game as well. Mostly because I think, yeah, I think I was really good on Invoker, but I think the Ogre Queen of Pain is gonna, it's gonna do it this time. But let's find out who's gonna make it to the winners bracket finals, and who is gonna drop down to the lower bracket with Luminous and Charlie Yang. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Game Three between Mineski and Fnatic. I'm Good Cop Lumi. I'm Bad Cop Charlie, and welcome to the last arc of. Eternal Envy's anime story. Yep. Will he continue to get bullied with his friend, Pilai Dai? Or will the he confident... He stopped the bullying. He stopped the bullying last game. Yeah, he he, he got his uh, buddy to stop the bullying, but 
right now it's it's not about the physical threat you know the last arc is all always about the mental you know is he gonna be confident enough now to ward off future bullies by himself by himself no I, uh, you gotta be you th gotta this grow is up a as game a of boy this is a game of friends <laughs> this is a game of friends and razor is not the star of the show dude i mean razor razor is gonna have a good lane matchup against abaddon that's something that we haven't said at all about envy right remember game one literally got bullied as a safe lane void game two wasn't the best against uh, leisler versus the tide this one he actually has a main uh, a lane matchup advantage against the abaddon in fact the abaddon is dodging yeah they're gonna put the slardar up there so mushi slaughter they played it three times, won two of them, lost one. The build is relatively similar. You go blink, oh, you go power threats blink, and then you go for a damage item. Generally, you either go Echo Saber or MOM, and then you go from there. Most of the time, you get a BKB, sometimes you get a heart, sometimes you, whatever the game suits. I think he's probably gonna need a bkb this game it doesn't help versus the razor or the beastmaster but i think if he doesn't get it against like clock or invoker he's just gonna i could see an argument for lincoln's too depending on because it's so good against razor uh, and beastmaster i dislike oh, well we shall see in the mid lane we are gonna see a rogue sunstrike for the range creep okay it's a little weird but it, isn't the range creep just not as important this time around no it isn't but we did see him Sonic Wave 2 to creeps, so the man is serious about getting his last hit. Thought you had that, didn't you? Looks like we are gonna have a quick lane swap as the Undying is now walking up top. The two friends, friends forever. Highlight I and Envy in safe lane. Trying to Bully, be the bullies this time. I mean, Pilot Dice got 28 strength right now. He is, he is one strong man. I think Fnatic is still okay with this. They didn't get the Abaddon matchup that they wanted, but I think Envy is perfectly fine going up against the Slardar. Yeah, but that also means Ohio is going to get the 1v1 Abaddon matchup bottom, which is not a good matchup for him. In fact, I would say this is a very terrible matchup. Like, what do you do against uh, Curse of Ever Everness? You just, I guess you just have to use your boars really, really intelligently. Yeah. Uh, hit him after he pops the shield so you can run away. Oh, we, you just say that last game he basically 1v3, right? So. Yeah, I mean, I, I think this is doable for Ohio. Okay, Pilot Eye in a lot of trouble. Needs to get a two-man decay, only gets the one. First blood goes to Ninja Boogie, the rune goes to Jabs. And... Ninja Boogie as well, so off to a great start is Maness. I says says has to TP back. Oh, what happened there? He just had to TP to his tower. He was okay. in a bad position. If he wanted to get out of that, he would have had to pop his mango. So yeah, I don't think this is actually that bad for Beastmaster. He's ahead right now. Alright. Mid lane DJ is rotating in. I don't think there's any kill attempt, but well, Blink has been spent. Moon thinks he's getting a kill, but here comes DJ on the back line. Battery assault getting channel. Nice two man cog here as well. I don't think Abed could turn around. You know, he will to lay off a couple of right clicks, but I don't think they were boot. there will be any kills. And that will be it. Yeah, and uh, Invoker is not doing bad. CS. Relatively similar in the mid lane, I bet is slightly behind. But Invoker will catch back up. Oh, Envy gets off the link, has six magic stick charges, trying to bait them in. And there's a nice big sword rip as well. Mushi losing a ton of his HP. Ninja Boogie, oh my god, look at him hit. Mushi might be in trouble. No, it's gonna sprint out there. Top lane, neither of the carries farming well. And strangely, it's the, the Beastmaster, who I thought was going to have a tough lane, has the highest CS in the game right now. Yeah, oh, Ohio's just... He's a know, beast on this hero. No he's a intended. beast on Beastmaster? Yeah. yeah. He's, he's got the micro. I, I really like his mid-game play. I, I know last game we gave a lot of credit to the game-saving Abed, but for a lot of the mid-game, it was him finding Moon over and over again, right? Like with the Beastmaster, so... Yeah, very correct. Um, I think... If he hadn't done that, you know, that that that.
that might have looked like a very different game. Yeah. I mean, Moon pretty much was a non-factor from start to Yeah, yeah, he did not yeah. exist in that game at all. all right. We have a uh, double damage on jabs over here, strolling over to Abed, but that. Abed is actually falling really far behind in terms of experience. I know that the uh, Undying Slash Clock also sapped a bit of his EXP, but at the same time, he is... Well, Moon also got some solo XP for a while when yeah. Jabs went bottom. He's also getting denied. He's getting zoned out. Here comes Jabs on the back line. Links forward. I bet does not have any way. Ooh, nice uh, ice wall. In fact, oh, the Jabs? tower help of Jabs. Jabs gonna turn dead. around for a solo kill. A bed? Excuse me? Why is he so good? He's the cool guy with the blonde hair. <laughs> yeah, he is. Or black hair. No, he's got blonde hair right now. Sure, he is. All right, now I saw into the future. Moon, don't know if you want to fight against this Forge Spirit. Bottom side of the map, DJ's hanging out. DJ's been somewhat stranded. I feel like there's not really a good lane for him to participate in, in ganks and kills. I think the if there's a kill lane, it's actually top. Yep. Ushi bailing out his friend, but this top lane is also going quite poorly for the slaughter. Yeah, this the laning stage. I'd say right now, Fnatic are the big winners. Yeah. I think uh, Ice Ice Ice, being the fact that he's got the safe lane farm, I want to say that he should be going for like Phase Midas, or do you personally not like that build? Uh, Phase for sure. Less but, so on the Midas. Less so on the Midas. I, I don't know. It's so weird because right now, Mineski is basically watch. losing all their lanes. Yeah. Uh, Queen of Pain is, is doing okay, but I mean, Abed basically just got a solo kill in a 2v1 situation. So somebody on Mineski needs to do something right now. They are trying. I hear a stun strike. It's going on the bottom side. I believe that was a Beastmaster roar into a uh, Abaddon O, essentially. Yes. Uh, Ice 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 just ults it off. Nothing happens, but you know, in the end, I think the onus is on Mineski to make things happen in this game. Or else Invoker will probably, like, late game, I don't think there's going to be a hero that matches it. Yep. Never mind about the late game, but let's talk about the mid game for a second, because in about 10 minutes, I could envision a Beastmaster with Shadow Blade in your jungle again. Exactly the same way that Ohio did it last game. And because Slaughter is having a, such a rough top lane, I don't think he can apply any pressure by, you know, picking up an early blink. So... I agree. He doesn't have, like, a... Like, in most situations, you want to be able to blink, crush, amp the Invoker, and the rest of your team goes on him. Right. But right now, the rest of your team is kind of far behind. Oh, they are sending a big gank party, but Mushi is going to run right into DJ. DJ, if he cogs him right now, and he does, Abed has a sun strike, will lob it out. Mushi just hands him a silver platter of another free kill. Abed says, thank you very much. I'll take it. Moon, no Sonic wave, but playing very aggressively asks if he does. And we'll take off Abed's... Uh, Clarity? Yeah. Top lane, they're gonna swoop around for Envy now. I don't think they can even kill him. Nope, they cannot. Meanwhile, bottom lane looks like the Abaddon ult has been triggered once again. Moon got very low there, almost died solo to a bed. And this is... Usually, when you're a Queen of Pain against Invoker, you want to be able to use your early levels and bully him out. But at, at this point, like, he just doesn't have that possibility. Now you're a Queen of Pain playing from behind, and yeah, that feels so bad. When you say early levels, you kind of mean like level One three? to three. Yeah. One to three. The level two Shadow Strike and just kind of go on him. Yeah, but now, like, that possibility doesn't exist anymore. You're going to get, if you walk up to try and do anything to the Invoker, you're going to get Cold Snaps. Radiance yeah, see, tower is like, attack. even though it looked like Moon had the advantage there, he knows he has to back off. Well, we're gonna see a kill attempt here. Another nice ice wall on top of Moon. Here comes a TP ice path on Abed as well. 
Abed still going to be fine. Sonic Wave, though, will get the kill, but Envy comes in and cleans up. That's going to be one. Japs will just pour it out. Wait, wait. Ooh. Almost had enough damage to get force out a secondary kill. That's a that's just a clean one for one trade. Bottom lane, Tombstone deployed here against Ice Ice Ice, but Ice 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 got his ultimate. In fact, he's gonna just try to take down Tombstone. Pops the ult. Here comes the Mushi TP. Ohio now getting pinged out. He has war for himself. Uh, I I don't think Ohio should be in too much danger. He still has Pi there. Yeah, Sun Strike as well. Where's the Sun Strike? It's gonna come through a tad bit late. I mean, if you look at Mushi, Mushi doesn't even have treads right now. Yeah, he's not even level six. I don't know what he really intends to accomplish here. Well, I think his, it's like you said, like his team is just having so much trouble everywhere that he needs to be the one that's moving around to help people out. Because he's probably the most equipped hero to use though, right, with Sprint? Sure, the, but these are very low percentage ganks. Like his method of initiation is Sprint and try and run at you really fast. <laughs> Sometimes it'll work, but so far it hasn't. Well, he's, make, he's trying to make another okay, attempt right okay. now. Okay, all right. Blink crush, but the nice cold snap. Got a little bit greedy with that first right click, and now it's going to be Envy coming on the back. Hello, Mushi. Keeping a perfect amount of distance away from the crush, but close enough for the link to continue to go on. And while Moon did get that kill on Abed, like he, he had to die for it. And Queen of Pain is one of those heroes where like you're meant to dominate early. Yep. If you don't want the trade, the trade's not good for you if you're trading with like a late game hero. DJ now gonna get caught out. And again, Mushi. Mushi's actually level five compared to the level six clockwork. And he sees another solo kill to DJ. DJ says, see ya, I'm out of here. Any fire blast level? No fire blast. DJ grabs the 1v2 trade and makes it home. Courtesy of the Sunstrike, obviously, but right now I think Mineski is getting bully back. This is the pretty final, hard, dude. This is the final arc, Lumi. I mean, it's the final arc. And has Envy really shown up? Yeah, I mean, he's, he's part of a couple. No, he's else. definitely shown up. Dude, yeah. Envy is top net worth of his team right now. Okay. He's really showed up. He is, he's making the transition. Yep. All right. And, uh, you know, the most farmed hero on Mineski, Ice Ice Ice, he, he's just quietly farming away on that bottom lane. He does have the Midas. He does have the Midas, but, yeah. you know, if you're, if any of the viewers are asking yourself, why doesn't Ice 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 do anything? It's because he can't really. He's an Abaddon. The most he can do is really try and TP to lanes in, in reaction to something. Yep. But he's not, he can't really apply pressure anywhere except for his own lane. Highlight Die runs into a smoke gank. It's kind of how he scripted up. He just wants to tank all these smoke ganks. We'll die. And of course, a good Highlight Die fashion says, here's here's a freebie. Tombstone gets dropped, but here comes Envy now. Ninja Boogie will lay the ice path in front of him. The Sun Strike on point. Envy will pick up the kill. Fnatic. Rolling. Dyer's top tower is yeah. under attack. You know, Despite all of this, the net worth, I would have actually thought the net worth lead would be a little bigger, but it's just under 1k. Yep. But I think it, it gets worse soon because. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Look at the way that Ohio's playing. He's in your jungle right now. He's going to pick up the Shadow Blade. So we've seen what happened with that courier. Looks like it'll be fine. And and the farming path, the farming area is going to get very constricted very fast, but they're going to try to pick up Ohio. Ohio moving very fast, but here comes Moon with the haste ring. They can use the Beastmaster Roar and try to TP out, and that's going to be the play, but Ice Path going to make that attempt look silly. They do get off the Ohio kill. All right. That's, that's something for Mineski. They, they do oh, need to make... Bottom side, DJ now. hooks right in against Ninja Boogie. Sunstrike's going to be there, and that's going to be another kill. I was worried for DJ, but... He's looking pretty good, but might might have trouble making out nice. No, Mushi, Mushi right now is just wasting more time. He's he's not really that one position slaughter anymore. He's no. gone for that. He's a know, three now. Yeah, the Tranquil Boots is going to save up for his dagger. Just be that sort of initiation tool. Yep. Well, you know, before Ice 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 moved back to SCA and form his own team faceless, he did have a brief stint playing the carry role for Ehom back when he was in China. So the man knows how, knows how to carry. He's queued up the Radiance. 
he needs to be essentially the, the front frontal tank and the damage dealer, so this is probably the best build for him. Mushi gonna run right in to DJ and, and takes away the bounty room. Mushi, despite all his troubles, also almost a blink, so I think I think we're beginning to see Mineski to, to make a comeback. Yeah, for sure. Uh, Invoker is going to take a little while to get online. And uh, it's actually lower net worth than the Queen of Pain right now. But he yep. does have the Midas. And likely he's going to just be safe in the jungle. Like, it's going to be really hard for Mineski to find him unless they do like a dedicated... Uh oh thing. Mushi, if he gets spot here by DJ, he's likely dead with a Sunstrike. I think. Vision check, they see him. Blockwork Co comes in, Sunstrike, queued up, and bang, that's gonna be a kill. Uh, ben has been actually having some trouble last hitting with a Sunstrike, but this time he does. Picks off a little bit more gold and experience across the map. Smoke gank up to MV top. All right, MV, very tanky, pops the drums, pops the face, moving out, Pylidai comes in, heals up his friend, will tank the gank for his team again. Everybody needs to Pylidai in their life. Oh man, Pylai Dai is the ultimate. What is the what is the term for the guy that gets bullied? I don't know. A masochist? No. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? He's doing it voluntarily. He's like, Take yeah, me. but yeah, yeah. I don't think he's enjoying it though. That's what a masochist. I wants. see. I mean, I actually think, in terms of a team strategical thing, like they enjoyed that the way that that turned out, right? Like that was fine for them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. Middle but to answer your question, I, I don't know. I, I don't know what that term is called. Mushi aggressively in the enemy jungle, searching for the Abed. Or Abed, excuse me. Abed is already on the other side of the jungle, so he's fine. Yeah. Mineski really needs to get more done with those smoke ganks. He, they have to... What they really want to do is find that invoker, but... He's doing a really good job understanding his role in this game and just avoiding them. He's just yep. taking the safe farm in those jungle camps. It is a bit slower, but you know. Safety first. Yes. Scan nice, comes nice. out. Looking to run away. The link is going to get applied. And as long as they make sure that they save a stun for his TP, it should be fine. Nice, nice, nice. We'll get up a ton of HP, but I don't think it matters at all. As now Envy has a ton of damage. The bully pushed back. Top lane, Ohio. Sunstrike's gonna be there. Oh, they hug like friends. Friends counter Sunstrike. And now the friends answer back against Ohio. Oh. Highlight Eye's gonna port in. Highlight Eye says, I'm bullying other supports as well. The Flesh Golem will keep him safe. You, you know, this is like, this is definitely like the end of the anime story when the ultimate like bullying victim yeah. gets to kill himself yeah is that karma is that justice oh, oh! all right so as you said earlier trades are not good and that's not even a trade that's not even a trade <laughs> top lane pilot die he should be fine he's got a ton of creep next to him in fact one of them being a centaur no i think that's just Nana feeling the pressure of this game not going the way that they need Radiant's it to. Mm -hmm. And so he feels top. like he has to do more. Do so you think that's a little that bit of a risk. tilt too? Or? Yeah, it's definitely definitely a little bit of a tilt. Yeah. Because even if he got the kill, let's let's suppose that he did get the kill and then he died there. I, I still don't think that was the best for him. No, definitely not. So, Abed almost is 1k away from uh, his Agnum Scepter. Yep. And once you pick up the Aghanim Scepter, you get to obviously... Then you're a real boy. Yeah, you're a real boy. And you also get to split push much more effectively because you can cycle through your spells uh, better in team fights as well. So it's just, just a, a nice added benefit. And of course, even though he's farming like that, because of the way that Fnatic has drafted, he is still participating in a ton of kills. Yeah. Setting up for the clock and, and the Beastmaster. All he needs to do... Speaking of the setup, mid lane we have Fnatic heroes roaming in. Ohio in the Shadow Blade, looking for a pick. He's not gonna find one, but uh, I mean, he, Fnatic is the one applying pressure when it's Mineski that needs to do so. Yeah, I think this really just comes back to their 
the fact that they didn't win their laning phase. Well, I think they didn't win specifically Slaughter's lane, right? Because imagine if Slaughter has a bigger game, I think he would be more of a menace looking for picks, like the same way that Ohio is. But Mushi's struggling very hard. 0-4-1. And, and now, of course, it won't be a Fnatic game without Roshan Sneak. And they're gonna have Aegis on an uh, Abed. Yeah. Looking pretty good for them right now. With this Roshan, Abed will also get his uh, Agnums. Oh no, they're gonna get one more. Jab's gonna come in. Beastmaster Roll is gonna be there. Sunstrike immediately channel up. That's gonna be a kill. Aegis, a kill. Oh. And now they find a two man cog. They won't have the Sunstrike, but do they have Meteor? They have nothing actually. Cold Snap's gonna get used. Cold Snap, earn on Mushi. Mushi might die. Mushi will die. Abed, double kill right now. And is he gonna hang around for this rune? He's thinking about it. Oh, Moon just picked up his Orchid. Oh no, premature. Alright, well, Abe will roll away. Yeah, this, this game is rapidly slipping out of Mineski's control as if they, you know, had any control to begin with. Hero picks up the four staff. Gonna be very useful against the clockwork. Helping out his cores and getting out of those calls. Mid lane jump in here for Abed. Abed, Link. Strike, Sunstrike, Meteor though. Oh my goodness, Jabs. Thanks for the free kill, and he might actually just survive against Mushi. That's a straight up 1v2. Moon's gonna come back in, but no. Abe says, I don't care, I still have Aegis. We'll get so ripped up, has the magic wand as well. Jesus Christ, this guy is so good. I I don't think, Mineski just doesn't have the, the net the damage. worth. Yeah, they don't have the net worth of damage to do anything to this guy. Slardar is... He has no damage items. Was forced to go tranquil boots instead of treads. He's gonna go for that four staff as well. I believe the last time we seen the Abed Invoker was when they played it against TNC. Not in this event, but uh, in one of the other qualifiers, where both games he went over like 15 kills. And history is seemingly to repeat himself. He is currently six one and eight. BOTs online already. If he wants it. And let the split pushing begin. Man, this uh, this anime arc is looking real dark for Mineski right <laughs> yeah. now. I mean, they are painted as the villains, which may be a little bit unjustly. But now Mushi, looking to set up a kill up top here. We'll cancel the TP if it has vision. It was nighttime. And he makes it up. Clockwork hook. Now, Ice 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 is very tanky. But he, will, he will need to pop that ult very soon. Nope, he's gonna just run to the safety of Shimmins. He'll be okay. Oh, the net on the Jakiro? I don't know if they want to run through that fire. But now they'll be okay. Abed ports in with this BOT. But looks like they won't be able to find too much. Dead Mineski is going to transition this into a top tower push. And this is where the, the very farm Abaddon is actually quite good with the uh, Radiance. Yeah, and the Radiance. Like, you just him beating on a tower that Bloodlust, too. He will take that tower very quickly. That's some progress from Mineski, but they definitely need more here. How is. Uh... Nana doing. Okay, so he's working on that Lincolns right now. Yep. Lincolns, once again, a very decent choice. Blocks some of the most dangerous spells on the other side. At the same time, it's not the end all be all. There, there's still ways to, to lock you down, even yeah. through the Lincolns. Invoker has about, you know, four other spells yep. that he can use to hurt you. Oh, you think we're going to see some, uh, what do you call it? Cataclasm? I think we're definitely going to see some Cataclysm. Cataclysm, sorry. Do you, do you think... We're going to see the full combo? Here's the question. Do you think uh, the Queen of Pain also has to go BKB? I think so. I think so. Yeah, and that's a really dark place that you're in. When, you, when you're forced to go Lincoln's BKB on, yeah. a, on a hero like Quab. I mean, Quab is, I think, one of the, the heroes that could... Is most okay with it, yeah, yeah, yeah. but nobody's really. Complete. Nobody really wants to queue into Dota game. Is like, yep, Lincoln's BKB this one. 
That's, but... th that's my item. Yeah. Because she has to do damage this game. It, it can't just be the uh, Abaddon. Yeah. She needs to get like a, a Jolner or maybe a Sheep Stick or something. Sure. I mean, the scary thing is that if they really want to kill Abaddon, they can. Like, all, all they have to do is complete that Silver Edge in Ohio. And then hit him once and roar. And his ult won't trigger. Or at least won't trigger uh, passively. But top lane, they're going to find the hook. Find the stun. DJ trying to bail his team, but his team already died so fast. But here comes the combo. Moon will blink out of it. Abed did not connect the stun, but they will co-snap him on the way out. That's going to be one kill. Jabs will make it out on the top. It's going to be Mushi. A horde of zombie the chasing. Oh, they're, they're not actually keeping up. No, the, the canceling, canceling is blink. Yeah, the canceling is blink. And now it's going to be Ice 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 on the run, but his team has forsaken him. And he'll pop that O, but nobody cares. They'll hang around, keep draining the damage, and the Envy striking right back. Look at this man's deep. It's like he has a rapier. Radiant's top tower has fallen. And Fnatic really flexing their muscle at this point. Yeah, they're doing real well here. Ice 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 is that, that final boss. Yeah. They took out all his minions and they could just focus on him. And of course, true to true to minions, some of them just runs away, right? They don't they don't stay with the boss. Yeah, they're too scared. They can't do anything right now. Tier two is gonna go down. Which actually, I know we're talking about dark anime lines timelines for for Mineski, but real life timeline wise, they just uh, flew a six hour flight to China, and they're Very gonna true. yeah they they play one best of three here. They need to play another best of three against TNC. If they win that, they play another against Fnatic again. Yeah, that's. Uh, that's that's uh, that's a lot of games after a, a flight yeah it, a flight to a foreign country as well well uh, not just any foreign country the darkest foreign country the darkest foreign country of them all <laughs> china so all right big sun strike coming through and the tombstone mushi melted immediately now bet jumping forward finding jabs jabs second one to go down can they find more? Ninja Boogie, rocketed up, vision's being provided. Abed's got a Blink Dagger if he wants to go in. Nice juke. Blinks forward, applying that Ice Wall. That's going to be a triple. Nope. Ohio says, okay, that's that one. And at this point, Fnatic is just styling. Yeah, it, it just doesn't seem like Mineski has an avenue to win this game. I don't know. Five man crush into Ice. Ice or uh, Sonic Wave, Path. Ice Path, Sonic Wave, yeah. But barring that, middle tower is under it's hard. Fnatic has to severely overextend or something. I just want to point out that uh, Abed's got no talent selected. Taking us back pre patch 7, man. Talents for scrubs. Ice 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 jumping in, but need to trigger his ultimate very quickly. Fnatic will reset, regroup. Nice two-man crush here. Tornado backing his teammate up. Abed striking through. Mushi will just go down. Just trying to initiate for the team. Envy just going in. Now he is the big bully. Ninja Boogie's gonna go down. He sees Jabs. Jabs is gonna get chased down. No, he just goes away. Ooh, nice two-man crush coming through. Mushi might actually get the Envy kill. No. Great defensive force staff coming out from his ally. And Fnatic loses nobody. And once again, they will reset. Meanwhile, though, up top, Nana okay. did take that tower, almost claimed the range racks. That's well. actually pretty good. But on the bottom side, Mineski did lose the melee racks. Oh. And of course, they did have to buy back a Mushi as well. Pylai die. Poor Pylai die. <laughs> he thought he was out. He was like, they're all far behind me. They're not chasing me. I'm going to make it out for once. And then uh, he sees that TP and you know that picture of Pi where it looks like all hope is drained out of his eyes? <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, Which like, pictures? Actually, pi has got some beautiful eyes. He but, really does. Have, yeah. Have you met his brother? I haven't. They look. They're they're both like very handsome men. Yeah. And that's coming from Charlie. Like you, you rate, you have high ratings on men. <laughs> I actually came out really wrong. I came out really wrong. <laughs> what I'm trying to say is, Charlie doesn't say men are pretty very lightly. Like you know, you you, they got to be really pretty, for you to comment that. I remember I was sitting um, next to the uh, the people that do makeup at TI. Okay. 
and because uh, they were doing my makeup, right? We, we, we saw Pi on the, the panel, uh -huh. and they did the close up on him, and you could see all his eyelashes and all the all the the makeup ladies, makeup artists. They're like, oh my god, I wish I had, I could have his eyelashes, and these are like you know like pretty good looking female, just being jelly of Pi like that. I'm not sure how we got there, but a Sun Strike and Tornado <laughs> firing off your Moon on the right side. We'll blink away, but what's not so lucky is Jabs stuck there. Mushi trying to make himself out of there as well. Sun Strike, bang! Mushi, you are going home one way or another. Ice, ice, ice. Oh, well, he's got his ultimate, but another good ice wall keeping him stuck. DJ with the cogs as well. The ultimate will get triggered on Ice, Ice, Ice. They will take down the final boss. Who's gonna get the last hit? Ooh! Yep, they will get the last hit. And of course, credit to Abed. Abed now getting his talents. He's gonna have that cataclysm soon. Yep. That's actually insane. How do they just give him just a bunch of Sunstrike spawn on every single player on the enemy team? You mean the talent is like too over, like over? I don't know. It just. I don't know if it's overpowered because Invoker is such a is generally a, like a late game hero, but it's just it just sounds ridiculous. You know what I mean? EMP tornado on the back line. That's going to be a Jakiro kill. Sunstrike not even necessary there. On the front, that's going to be a nice clockwork cog. Traps ice, 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 and again, it doesn't matter if he's gaining health because he's not doing nearly enough damage to utilize that health. Meteor combination gonna come through. Double kill beyond godlike for Envy. Envy beyond godlike. Now this is a true conclusion of this anime. Envy's top net worth right now. Yeah, oh, dude. As I say that, Abed just overtakes him, but Envy is no longer getting carried here. He is the carrier. I mean, he he also got carried pretty hard, but he did a lot too. The, the he, rotation. He did do a lot. He yeah. yeah. He rotated in in the mid game too to back up his buddy Abed. Radiant structures are fortified. Glyph will get forced out. And Abed. Wait, doesn't he have enough points to take the Cataclysm already? Yeah. Yeah, he does. Yeah, he took a point in Quas instead. Oh, I guess that's what he thinks about Cataclysm. <laughs> Envy will get the last hit on the building. And now Mineski defending valiantly. Even bloodlusting that Rax. Oh, yeah. Get him big. But uh, not going to be enough, I don't think. EJ. Nice amount of spells onto him. He's very, very tanky. Abed coming on the back line. That's a snipe. There's a roar going on to Ninja Boogie. That's a secondary kill. Abed's also beyond godlike. And he's just running a show, even walking into the fountain. GG's gonna get forced out. Maneski will lose the winner bracket finals. Best of three against Fnatic. They're not out of the event just yet. They will have a date against TNC. But that one, they're playing for their tournament lives. Yeah, unfortunate for Mineski there to have to play that match right after they got off a plane, but you know, still credits to Fnatic, credits to how they played in those last two games, some real clutch performances out of Abed with that Roshan sniping game too.